Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 Long War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Long War of the Chosen Legendary Iron Man playthrough, which is called Into the Void. We're nearing episode 100, can you believe it? It's episode 97 at the moment and today we're going to celebrate that with a bit of a smash and grab mission. Operation Frost Saga is here. The salamanders are going to go down and are hopefully going to get us at least four resource caches. We're going to do that, although we do have eight hours left, because quite frankly, we want to reset uh, the mission so that a new mission spawns. So without further ado, let's jump into the mission. Okay, I got to get over here and have five outs. Let's scout a little bit. And see what we're dealing with. Looks like hostile over here. Pack of five to start with. Good copy. Only one well, that's a lot of trouble. Another pack up there. Don't slow me down. Hmm. Constant here, constant there, constant here, constant over here. Well, that's going to be fun. Tired of waiting around. It's going to be a very cramped position. On my way. Not a problem. Steady weapon, everybody else overwatches and let's pray that they are running into our overwatch trap. Come on. Okay, not bad. Grazing hit. Oh, another grazing hit. Oh. Well, at least he got some damage, so can't complain. Could be much worse. Did I just see a chrysalis here oh. oh he has a solace aura uh, and more overwatch and a chrysalis hmm. okay Ooh, yeah well Look, I think this here would not be bad, but this here would take away the overwatch and I don't want overwatch, so there you go. Not bad, right? Nah, can't hit. We need to go over here. Fortify. Not exactly the rocket that I was hoping for, but it opened up a lot of ground, which I'm grateful for. Sweet, sweet kill. Set 
Okay, that's a nice flanking angle. Let's get the heavy lancer. <laughs> you want some more? Beach. That's the B word, but very, very, very silently. You know what? Let's just kill it. It's a bit of an overkill. Could be worse. Steadying the weapon. Chris had spotted us out. He ratted us out like a little rat. Um, we're taking overdrive serum as a defense mechanism. And the chrysalid will die because we have counterattack. So that guy's already dead, he just doesn't know it yet. But the other two are a bit more dangerous. I had it well under control, just shouldn't have moved that's all We don't have a really good option to deal with it. We got a concussion rocket, I suppose. Is this here reach him? No. Yeah. Starting with hitting the priest. Maybe a flesh wound. Ammo out. Minimum damage. Fantastic. Well, someone's gonna trigger it. Luckily, it did not hit. Shot wide. I am with you. I want that stupid power removed once and for all. Which now leads to a bit of a goose uh, hunt. This guy here might go down. Yeah, not with a 5% shot. With maximum damage, he would go down. No, I don't want to risk that. Instead, we're just trying to crowd control him. Well, that's fine by me. Heading there now. Moving up. And the priest is still very much taking damage. 
Wonderful. The next advent group appears out of nowhere. Starts to flank us. Oh wow, well, okay, cool. Or not cool, depending on which side you're on. Yeah, I want to kill this guy. It was a one on one uh, for uh, the longest time. And then we just killed him. up barely hits both of them that is good nice hit very very nice hit now next up how can we hit can we hit both of you yeah it might work Might sting a little, as they say. Stupid first sergeant. Very nice, so that will suppress all of them. Almost all, shall I say. The Guardian is not suppressed. And we might just want to hit him. Don't want to rush up. I can already see there's a tower here. And may yeah, that can't be a tower. But maybe someone else there. Because uh, the spots are taken. a stern gun that is not really the biggest damage that we could deal. We do have another flamethrower which will actually work reasonably well. I'll tell you something, we're just going to do another flamethrower. Or alternatively, that big fat mother of a rocket. better choice I mean this year they're already burning you know that would be a hit of four sure why not too disoriented and that's okay they are burning
they are disoriented and we're in full cover so well, that actually should work very well for us hundred percent on the viper elite there you go starting to reposition Moving up. Kill the Viper Elite. Uh, you had Medkit, okay. Helping heads. Could throw a flashbang up there to keep them busy for one more turn. Very nice, good job. Keep them further areas suppressed. And next turn we can go up and burn in nature then. All right, let me get that straight. Full cover, uh, we're overwatching, having extra um, defense against him and he's burning uh, and he's uh, um, disoriented and he's still hitting. That's interesting. And by interesting, I mean the actual word would be shit. So, you little, uh, you little terrorist, what are you trying to do? Yep. Keep the flamethrower going. Okay, well there is a potential hit. Come on, really? How is that even a possibility? I smell some fine ex combs here. This is so ridiculous, it's not even funny.
unbelievable just the amount of tankiness just waiting for this guy to shoot us in full cover of course of course critically for nine okay let's uh not be mad about it because if you're mad about XCOM nothing changes it's still going to be a good pound of shite but uh, you are just forfeiting the opportunity to play good so I guess what we do instead is since this guy seems to be like Mr. Keanu Reeves Matrix can't touch us we're going to mark him. We're going to mark him really well. Let's rock. And by doing so, we are going to be able to hit him. On my way. Nope, not like that. But we're soon going to be able to hit him. Moves to here, sees the other two. We're going to be the one that they might attack. He takes eight damage and is, of course, burning. Fantastic. Which means we can deal with the other two that are standing right next to a generator. Including a nasty purifier. Um, yeah, not great. Might as well take that shot because the other one deals no damage whatsoever. Could move down. Uh, could move down. But we wouldn't be able to kill them, unfortunately. Which kind of brings us into a difficult position. I should be out there. Oh, okay. Well, at least we're in full cover. Let's overwatch so that they are not moving. Unfortunately, Overwatch will be triggered by him. No, it won't. We're immune to the burning, but we're not immune to the initial damage. This is constant, non-stop fighting. The turret here is a problem. Those two will continue to be an issue as well, but <clears throat> we might be able to stall on them for a bit. Let's focus and get one side down. You never want to be sandwiched. Shredding the turret nicely. Hitting it. Um, or is our melee attack? Oh, 
There we go. Tear it down. Okay, fantastic. Listen, we got five turns to get out of here. Sniper is going to start getting some of the stuff. In the meantime, move up. And Bubble can at least flank the trooper. Okay, cool. Well, not bad overall. We still have two enemies that we are forced to deal with. Okay, well, Moving. next turn is going to be pickup time, so we better hurry up, shredding him, very well. Good, fortify. Why? Why is it just a few points of damage? He was flanking, so why didn't it crit? Taking the hit. Well, it's going to be a very, very messy miss, uh, mission, but at this point we're fully committed to get all of them down. Good, we can move up here and get the crate. Just in case we're missing body shield. Well, luckily not. Look, the loot is great and really had a good run. But at what cost, right? At what cost? I got the package. Heading out. Copy that. Could we still got one over here? Can we even reach that? Realistically, that's one. Two, three, now, nah, not happening. Getting it done. But this could happen. Pick up. Pick up. And, then sign up the whole break. and pick up. Not bad. That's a good start. Double time. Will do. Bubble rushes out. And head, heads moves out as well. Commander, we're losing the AO and our 
our forces in the process. I'd strongly advise we consider pulling the squad out of there. We're already trying to do that, Bradford. Thank you. I should be out there. Huh. I can handle that. Good to go. Solid copy. Moving out. All right, end of turn. I hate the whole situation with taking so much damage. The salamanders will need some time to recover. That was a really, really rough mission. Wouldn't be surprised if it is considered a very difficult mission. The team composition doesn't fully function. We need uh, support. Yeah, it was a difficult mission, not a very difficult one, but still. Yeah. The turrets, the placement of the turrets also um, screwed us over so badly. We had a lot of upfront enemies and it started very well, but we needed to draw so many cooldowns that we were left with uh, almost being a bit out, uh, out of, um, out of uh, stamina. So we were punching very, very light jabs throughout the rest of the mission. 17 uh, days for a hound dog, that sucks. Ten warheads is good, but I also like formidable. It's just a, such a good uh, skill. Fifty percent just from rockets and other explosives. Good. We did some very decent damage here. I must say, I like um, how he plays. I don't know if Salvo, hmm, well, then he can't really flank that uh, that well. On the other hand, Volatile Mix helps us to just uh, put more enemies into the grenades, specifically with the flaming grenades, that's not bad. So let's try that uh, for a while. And look, we it was successful, like the loot itself was good. I think the cost of it is what uh, what was questionable. And we have someone for officer school. The answer is Wilson could go. Might as well. And give him the jammer ability. India and North Arctic. Okay. So we're almost done with recruiting here. And we got loot filled. I think we need another specialist, by the way. There's always a need for an extra specialist. Good. Got a ranger. And you, my friend. I eat. Are very, very welcome. So, personal combat sim. I think hyper reactive pupils are good. Perception itself would be nice. Comet Rush isn't bad either. I think we're going Comet Rush. It's always nice to have that um, extra that extra rush. Good lots of people are still infiltrating. 
We have eight wounded soldiers, so that's a new record. New record high, but the problem is the enemies are doing more damage now, so naturally, unless we're upgrading our um, our defenses, we're more likely going to get hit. Black Market uh, could get extra personal. Let's do a short visit. We got money. Sharpshooter Assault Specialist 3. Uh, sure, you can have that. Mutant Corpses uh, can be used. The Berserker, I mean, Mutant Corpses are for tactical vests. Uh, I don't foresee using a lot of uh, them. Uh, the Hesmus Vest, in my perspective, is just way, way better. Um, getting rid of a few laser rifles, we don't need that much. Spectre corpses can be used, so I would want to keep them. Uh, purifier corpses are good for grenades, shield bearer corpses as well. Defense isn't bad. Laser pistol is better than no pistol, so I guess keep it. Viper corpses can definitely sell. Stocks we can sell. Laser cannon at this point, we don't need that many. Um, yeah, that is okay. We can keep one defense. Trooper corpses are always very much welcome. Focus needs to go. We do have three mag pistols laying around, which tells me that the laser pistol from earlier can definitely completely go. We got laser rifles, laser lance, laser pistol. There we go. It's just a little bit of money, but still every little bit uh, counts. Elite Mutant Corpse is super good. I want to keep that. Um, uh, we're pretty much okay here, advanced focus. And I think 450 is a good first start. Um, Staff Sergeants, yes. Sharpshooter, yes. Assault, yes. Fantastic. Just deepening our pool. And we got more soldiers. I think I've never had that many soldiers, but at this point it becomes a meme in this run. We got Blinding Protocol, which is fantastic. Smoker and Survival Instinct, both not bad either, but I tend to like the Blinding Protocol a lot, so that'll be picked. Medical Protocol into Interference, which I start liking more and more. Medical Protocol and uh, Field Medic, thank you. I do not think that you have the privilege that you have earned the privilege of wearing shorts into battle. That is something that only advanced 
comrades can do and uh, you certainly are not one of them uh, we could give you a bit of extra hacking or better we're giving you advanced conditioning so that you do not fall over when you're be uh, being hit sharpshooter deception great promote the soldier dead wood we ran out of um, people from our pool i think everybody now has been uh, drafted steady hands is good oh inspire agility that's not bad either it's a friendly unit 30 dodge until the start of your next turn whenever you kill an enemy which they will um, you gain an extra charge versus 10 aim and 10 critical uh, chance hmm. or the pistol route which i tend to value a lot 10 20 could be another option um Steady hands is really good. And the sniper isn't moving much, so that's great. We're going to take it. Although I like the Inspire Agility, that's super, super good. That's a really nice ability. Okay, gotcha. And now Constantine. Um, we could use some defense, conditioning, advanced defense would be good. It's fast already. Has the wielding, which is good. That is nice as well. Iron Curtain is a nice ability. This and this is cool. That's not bad. All right. Electroshock into unlimited power, which is great. Close and personal. Killer Instinct or 45. I think we're going for Killer Instinct and then Aggression. Good build. I like it. Personal Combat Sim. We can either go Advanced Defense, which will make him just generally harder to hit. 7 is really good. Or Combat Rush, but he's more of a loner. Body Shield isn't bad either. 20 aim you know what why not i think body shield actually could work very well on an assault whenever i do have body shield i tend to like it it's just a matter of you need to utilize it at the right time but with run and gun uh, there is a lot that you could do um which brings us to squad management and we need to create a new squad or a new chapter um, hmm well I do want no one more chapter of non chaos Marines I'm sure you guys know plenty more but uh, I know one more chapter uh, let's get the pink uh, pinkness out and this is going to be the Sisters of Battle. Um, Sign Soldiers. Specialist. Sharpshooter. Assault. It's a start. And once uh, there are more people available, then that is good as well. Well, Sisters of Battle, 
do have a good starting uh, position. They do have really bad equipment at the moment, but we got some money, so we're actually okay. And of course we're continuing to heal, because that's the main shtick. Uh, too little time. Doesn't matter. Really doesn't. Eastern Europe. That on the other hand matters. Someone or something went up to 100%. Raven Guard infiltration of that turret. Moderate activity. I. Um, yeah, well, let's over infiltrate it and see if that uh, reduces uh, the number of enemies. Mike the Public Bravo takes the general ability. Western US, East Africa. Good, we're doing more recruitment. Given that there is a network tower thing happening here, I am contemplating to maybe do that. And that and simply go for that yeah that's potentially the right uh, thing because we're going to liberate it soon must launch okay cool One more day and then we finally get our avatar um, reduction. Recruit rebels, soldier bond, resistance training, seal corpses. Nothing really great. So we're potentially going to hunt the warlock so that that can happen soon. In terms of prime team, eight more days hmm. i think that's fair i think that's fair Gemma training comes in with seven days on mike and then we're just going to take in seven days take that entire squad and do the next do the next chosen but next time we will have another mission that we will need to launch is uh, now all of the missions are starting to come through. Resistance management, got that one here with the hiding character. It's great to see in New Indonesia that we do have two mechs there. If we're ever attacked in New Indonesia for whatever reason, it's going to be carnage. I can tell you that much. Um, got 10 people here, so let's uh, recruit until 13 then we're shifting everything over to supplies this is a bit of a more exposed uh, area new india uh, has four different zones um, which are adjacent and from all of them an, an invasion could happen so yeah having a high level soldier there certainly helps us um yeah south africa East Asia both are going to be liberated soon as well and then we're prepping the other stuff I don't even know maybe we're doing a global liberation at this point uh, we have certainly not used the school check on an advent officer and we're not anywhere close to the black side mission long war actually is really really long as the name suggests 100 episodes in and we're barely at plasma and haven't really progressed the storyline 
I hope you nevertheless enjoy it. Uh, it is a fun ride together. Uh, if you do so, leave a comment and a like down below. Uh, that helps the series and see you soon. Bye bye.